Hi and welcome to Icy Kicks. On today's show we'll be doing something a bit different. I've actually got a drone. It was sent to me by Beta FPV and it's the Cetus Pro. So it's a ready to run out the box kit which is perfect for a beginner like me. So let's dive into it and see what you get for your money. So you've spent your money and Beta FPV have posted out your Cetus Pro and as you open the box this is what you're presented with and I have to say they did a rather good job of the box. I'm very impressed with it. It's actually really good quality and then you open it up and obviously it's got everything you need to get you up and running straight out of the box and the presentation continues inside. Now it kind of goes without saying but I'm an entry level drone pilot. Why? Because this is my first one. So as from a review point of view if you need to know more technical aspects of it there is plenty more videos around on this one but this video is a amateur person trying a, a bit of equipment that was designed for someone just like me and how I found it out of the box. Now the first thing I really like about getting into drones for the first time is this kit gives you everything you need to get going you don't have to put a puzzle together and purchase different bits and pieces and have a level of understanding that's above an entry level person you can just buy this one pick it up it will be delivered to you, you charge it up and you kind of get out and get going. So once you open the box you are presented with quite a few bits and pieces so let's go through them one at a time. Now you're currently looking to purchase this kit is £171.50 I'll put below the exchange rates but remember that's a UK price converted into maybe your currency. Your markets may vary so prices will fluctuate so it's just an estimation of what it might cost for you. So the main part the drone as you can see it is quite a tiny little thing you can fly this inside and outside it can be pretty nippy but we'll come on to the flight characteristics in a little while now this is the brushless version and it comes with the batteries which are 450 milliamps and you get two of them in the kit it's very dinky and obviously it's got the camera built in at the front. Now the motors on this are 1102s, brushless, four of them, pretty powerful. And I have to say, don't fly them with any children that have long blonde hair as they sometimes can have an accident and <laughs> which happened to my daughter. My son was flying it and, or maybe I was flying it and we accidentally crashed it into my daughter and it sucked up all her hair. So we had to spend 10 minutes cutting it out. Now obviously that's not a, <laughs> that's not a fault of the drone that's the fault of the idiots using it so just be mindful hair and spinning blades don't really work very well together now let's move to the other side and that is the goggles now i have no experience in these whatsoever i haven't even done any vr gaming so i honestly couldn't tell you how they felt you put them on they're okay they're fine uh, they don't feel your vision that much they kind of are very letterboxy i was kind of disappointed in the image quality from the drone very vhs like but i did go online to see if that's normal and it seems to be quite a lot of drone footage that's live transmitted isn't the best so uh, I was a bit surprised at that and I'm guessing if you spend a lot more money you get more high-end you can get a better image quality your one won't come with eyes my daughter quite likes watching this while my son flies the drone and she liked the idea of putting the eyes on it so we stuck them on obviously yours won't come with that <laughs> one thing I was surprised is there's no way to actually record your footage bit disappointing as it would be nice to have a little SD slot so that you could record your drone footage and play it back later on but being that this is a trainer kind of entry level I can kind of see that you're going to be spending most of your time just getting to grips with the actual drone instead of trying to create lovely videos I guess that will come down the line the transmitter itself feels quite quality I have to say everything is fitting to a reasonable quality especially for an entry level one and I found it was quite nice and easy to use one thing that I think they missed a bit of a touch on is I watched a few other people's videos to get some tips as I had no experience is these toggle switches they all have different features and functions but it's not written on the actual transmitter and a few people have printed them off and stuck them on so that's exactly what I did as it really helps me and my son use it you have the modes and then you have the arm at the bottom here at speed and then you have a video I'm not even sure turtle mode that is to flip it over so that really helps you remember so I think an update they could do 
is to actually have some stickers that they put on themselves or you can just do it yourself like I have. But overall, the transmitter is really nice. One thing I was really, really chuffed about and I really like what they did there is you have a USB-C charger connector on the transmitter and the goggles and internally they have their own batteries. Long term, that could be a bit of an issue once the batteries start to fail, but I'm guessing after say two to three years, you probably would have moved on from this kit anyway and you can get replacements of these. I did look them up. Now, being that this is an entry level kit for beginners, so you get extra props, which is really handy, but I have to say they are well protected inside the shroud and we haven't broken one yet, even though we've crashed it quite a lot. I was really impressed with how durable it is. This is all one solid lump of plastic and everything is fed up from inside. So the actual mounts for the brushless motors all the way to the top mount is all one piece. It's not sandwiched together. Only at the bottom here is a few screws where you remove the controller board and then you get into where the camera is. Also, the motor's super easy to replace a motor if you damage one. You just unplug it, three screws, put another one in, plug it in, and you're good to go. Now you get a charger cable and a battery charger. The cable is USB to USB-C, and then you can charge two of these 1S batteries, which are a proprietary a BT 2.0. Now, normally proprietary stuff like that would put me off a bit, but these batteries are actually really cheap, and I'm quite impressed. I like the way that they connect up. You can also use them as, it also doubles up as a voltmeter, so you can get voltmeter readings from it, and then you can charge up two batteries at once they do charge reasonably quick 15 minutes but you'll get about three to four minutes of flight time out of each one of them so i would recommend if you're going to get one of these you definitely want to buy extra batteries as two doesn't really cut it especially if you're going to go out playing with your kids so i think we've covered pretty much everything in the box and i gave it to my son and he's been flying it in the house and luckily the weather improved enough that he could take it outside and i managed to get some footage of him flying it so we'll cut to the footage and then we'll come back and i'll give you a roundup of the Cetus FPV Pro. Are you ready? Yes! Arming the drone. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> As you can see, it's great fun with the kids. Now, I must admit, they seem to be much more interested in the drone than my planes and my cars. So in the future, maybe my son may get into doing a bit more drones. We'll just have to see. Now, what's the pros, the cons, and my overall thoughts on it? So we'll start with the positives, the quality of the kit. Everything in it did feel like quite premium kit. The transmitter, the drone itself, and even the goggles at that kind of low price point were pretty good. They didn't feel cheap and very plasticky at all. So that's definitely a thumbs up, as well as you get a beautiful box, like I said before, to store everything in. The next big positive is that you have multiple modes with the drone. You can have it almost fully autonomous where it will take off, it will measure the ground and it will stay at a certain height, and it's very stable and easy to fly. 
all the way up to you can set it to a more advanced mode where it's actually really fast. I've only just started to play with that myself and it's way more nimble than you would think for an entry level drone. So one of the big pluses with this is when you purchase it as an entry level drone when you're first starting out, it can actually grow with you. So as your skills improve, you can adjust the setting that you're on and it becomes more and more nimble and you can even do some acrobatics with it when you really push the boat out. So I think it's gonna be good value over a long period of time. It's not something I think that you would start off with and get bored with quite quickly as your skill set advanced. So let's talk about some of the negative aspects. And one of those is part availability, as being that you are <laughs> new to the drone world, you're probably gonna crash it quite a lot. Now, the quality of the material is very strong and we crashed it quite a lot and had no problems at all and we never broke a single prop, even though you get spare props in the kit. But but I went on the Beta FPV website and I did struggle to find replacement parts. Now I did find that you can replace the goggles and you can replace the transmitter, they're available, but I couldn't find any replacement chassis. Now that doesn't mean they're not available, but I did spend quite a time looking. One thing that would be really nice on the Beta FPV website is when you click on the drone itself, the replacement parts are listed at the bottom or there's a link to parts. I did find you had to kind of move around quite a lot to find spare parts and I still to this day not sure if you could actually get a replacement chassis being that this is an entry level drone odds on you're going to crash it quite a lot so a replacement chassis would be nice I don't know whether they do them separately or you'd have to replace the whole drone so that is something to take into account and I would push that back to FPV that they need to think about that that when you go to buy a drone that you can link in the website to the spare parts to make it nice and easy the only other negative things are very small I mentioned before the SD card would be nice to record the footage but I don't think that is a major issue on something this level but being that the drone is so capable I could see as your skill set improves that being able to start to record some of your actual flying would be a nice touch. You only get two batteries in the kit and personally I would like six but from a price point and it is an option that you can buy yourself so if you are getting one you definitely want to add extra batteries as you will definitely want to fly it more than say eight minutes. So in conclusion do I recommend it? Oh yes very much so. It is a beautiful bit of kit for the money you're getting a hell of a lot of stuff and it's definitely a real solid place to start if you're looking at getting into the world of drones like me. Now I hope to bring more drones as we move forward as my skills improve so if you'd like to see more drones on the channel hit that bell notification and give us a thumbs up. See you on the next one. Bye bye.